Okay guys, well, welcome back. Let's uh, see what the fruits of our labor really turns out to be. Uh, the last video, we reassembled all this and uh, I've never seen this engine run. So I know that we do have a full range of motion. We have no binding, but we're going to go ahead and lubricate all this and we're going to try and do this all in one shot. I'm sorry if this one's going to be longer than the other ones, but I mean, I'll try to be honest and truthful with you guys. And yeah, that's about where we're at. So I'll get all this oiled up and, uh, kind of makes me think to myself that uh, I wonder why there are so many different thread patterns. Uh, when I was a kid, we went to an auction and there was an engine. It was in a box. It was a, a Lawson a four stroke, similar to a Briggs and Stratton. And well, I wanted it. And well, dad bought it for me. I was probably eight years old. And that was the same day that I got my used first Red Rider BB gun. And I went out to the shop and the only thing I needed to reassemble that engine was a set of open end wrenches, standard. And the order I got, well, I started working on other things and, well, I ended up with a, a Honda 75 motorcycle. And so I played with that and uh, realized, well, there's metric also. So there was some more tools. And now that we're working on these, it makes me wonder why we have so many different threads uh, <laughs> just asking so all right well sorry about me kind of rambling on but i think we've got everything fairly well oiled up we're going to oil it after it starts we're going to uh, put a nipple in we're going to put some air to it we're going to see what we got so We've got our air compressor all aired up, ready to go. And uh, like I said, guys, we're going to see this thing go or not go for the first time. So let's, uh, let's put some air to it and see what happens. All right, well, we're hooked up. Put some air to it. Obviously, our timing is not right. All right. Well, let me get this timing adjusted. Let's see what we got here. Mind you guys, we're trying this at well, seven pounds. So keep working at it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. All right. Well, let's get this all adjusted. It is running. It's got a terrible sound. I think our admission is way off. Let's see what we can do to address that. Okay, guys. Well, it's been oh, pushing a week, week and a half since we last looked at this. Um, my wife and I went on vacation and, uh, well, this poor guy's been sitting here waiting. Um, I did work on it a little bit more since the, well, the previous part of that video. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll put some air to it now. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's running at about five and a half pounds of air. I don't know if you guys can see that it's bouncing, but we'll slow it down a little bit. And yes, I'm sorry that silly compressor had to kick on. Right now it's at three and a half pounds. That regulator, I don't know why, but it acts up. So that's right at four pounds of air pressure right now. At that glare. And it runs very well. We do have a little bit of noise. I think our piston is loose on our rod. But, I mean, that could all change when we run this on steam too because the steam engine will run on air but it doesn't run the same as it does if it's running on steam things expand and so on but uh, yeah it, it runs very well so yeah. well let me shut that compressor off let's look at that boiler back here all right let's get this engine scoot him over here We'll bring this boiler up here and take a look at it. So this is a Stuart 500 series boiler. Um, we'll look at the bottom and it does have our superheater tubes. And uh, well, we're gonna run this on gas. So let me grab that gas boiler and show you get or gas burner and show you guys what we got. It's a very nice ceramic, you know, gas burner. And, uh, well, it runs on one of these disposable propane butane tanks. And, uh, well, give me a second. Let me get this moved out of the way. Okay, with that beam engine out of here, now we got a little bit more room. So, 
these have replaceable jets and this one here i don't know if you guys be able to see it probably not but this is a number 16 jet which is big enough to well way 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 too big for what we're after so we can't adjust our venturi rate near enough i mean it just uh i mean this thing's putting out enough gas to heat a double wide trailer so let me get this hooked up we'll light this and uh you guys can see so as much as i want to keep moving on this project i gotta wait for a, a damn jet so let me uh get this hooked up and i'll show you guys what we got we've got our valve hooked up to our fuel line which goes to our jet adapter we're just going to set him in here right in the center we'll move this boiler out of the way and uh you guys will get to see you know what i mean by this thing just puts out you hear how much gas that puts out just cracking it open and you can see that we've got you know just a large lazy flame and uh yeah, it should be a whole lot smaller than that and uh yeah this jet is at least two-thirds bigger than it needs to be so we do have more jets coming two different sizes we've got a number six and a number eight coming so guys i'm sorry we got to wait to work on this boiler and uh well i guess that's kind of the way it always works out isn't it but in the meantime we do have another box sitting here. You guys want to open it up? Let's rip this open and see what we've got on the inside of it. I know you guys have seen these before. This isn't necessarily a new engine for you guys to look at, but it's a new engine that we don't have here. So let's see what it is. it down in there we get all our accessory packages out of here and unfortunately we don't have any instructions I guess that'll be all right we can figure it out this is the uh, engine more engine um, we got our fuel line and plug cap battery holder fairly heavy little fuel tank and then our ignition so let's take a look at this guy real quick it's got great compression so, all right, well, I'll tell you what, when you guys come back, when we get our next video out, I'll have this mounted to a temporary board. We'll get it secured down here to our table, and uh, we'll see what we can do about making this one run, and then we'll see what we have to do to, uh, well, I figured that they'd have painted the flywheels, but, oh well, I guess it is what it is. So, all right, guys, hey. I'm sorry about the delay on getting this video out and well sorry about the delay on having to wait for a jet and whatnot but I promise guys we are going to have this boiler running that beam engine that's sitting over there so once again thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you enjoy this consider hitting the subscribe button and uh, yeah we'll be back at it you know right away so once again, thanks guys. I'll see you in a day or two.